Hey guys, I'm Ugo from Tech Corner TV and this video comes in the sequence of my previous videos with issues I had on my Handtech DSO 2D10 oscilloscope with freezes and hangs in different situations. This video will be useful for you if you had similar problems or if you want to recover a bricked Handtech DSO 2000 oscilloscope. For those like me, always in a hurry, I've created chapters and you can go directly to the topic that you are most interested but let me show you what I will talk about in this video. In the first part, I will show you how to easily upgrade the low-level firmware of your oscilloscope without any problem and it will solve most of the issues found in the oscilloscope. The second part is dedicated to teach you how to connect your oscilloscope to a PC to recover from a bricked or dead state. In the most recent firmware updates, Hantech stopped calling firmware to both low-level firmware and the high-level software, clarifying the situation with new terms. To explain how Hantech handles these two components of the oscilloscope firmware, this software usually has the version in a sequence of numbers separated by dots, like the one you can see here in the screen. The low-level firmware version number is made of four digits and appears in the end of the system info page. You also have on the screen an example. So, first things first, please be aware that this video is for information purpose only and any operation you'll do on your oscilloscope is your full responsibility. With that said, let's start. On my Handtech DSO 2000 how to upgrade firmware video, I already talked about uh, a guy named David Alpha. Uh, that gather a lot of resources for the DSO 2000 in a Google Drive. I'm talking about firmwares and encrypted versions of the firmware tools and mods for your DSO 2000 oscilloscope. He is a big contributor on EEV blog and managed to create a blog post. Uh, you have in the description the link that is a rich manual on how to upgrade the firmware and low-level firmware of your DSO 2000. As you can see here in the blog post, you have a lot of instructions and everything is very well organized by sections. You have the DSO flash tool, the firmware versions in here. The firmware is the, the version that you, the low level, what I'm calling it, the low level version. Right now we have also the 3004, 3204 uh, low level firmware version. Uh, several uh, instructions how to update and also all the all the firmwares of the oscilloscope up to the February 10 version. Uh, if you drill down a little bit you have a few more instructions, uh, recovering uh, instructions also and some mods for your oscilloscope. So Without further ado, let's start by upgrading your oscilloscope. Uh, as you can see in here, some of these uh, firmwares, high-level firmwares, will also set your low-level firmware number. But you have to do it on sequence and, uh, for example, the, uh, the official version on the Handtech website will not give you the previous version. So if you uh, jump one version, you will not have this uh, upgraded version and that's exactly what happened to me. So right now uh, I should say that you can upgrade or downgrade your firmware without any problem. You shouldn't be afraid. If something uh, goes wrong or if your oscilloscope begins to, to be more unstable, you can go down to any of these firmwares in here and it's pretty easy. So starting uh, from the beginning, the easiest way to upgrade your low-level firmware version to, for example, 3202 or if you want to, 30, uh, 3204, 3204, 
is just uh, click here and download your firmware to a, a pen drive. It's nothing special, you just to need to, to, to download this to the pen drive. And after you have it, you just need to upgrade your oscilloscope as usual. So let's do that. Okay, let's start by checking the, the version that I have. I already upgraded and downgraded a few times the, the, the oscilloscope. As you can see right now, they changed the firmware. We used to have here firmware and firmware. Right now, they call it software. And the version that I have in here is 1.0.2.0.0. And we have the firmware. And the firmware, we have the version 3200 uh, or 3200. 3, and that's the one that gives uh, a big error on the offset. So what we will do now, it's using a USB flash drive insert in here wait that he will recognize the usb and just do a normal update i will update directly to the latest version uh, here it is the version 3204 okay and start update this update is much faster than the normal one. It takes only a few seconds. Yeah, that's it. Power off. Take this out. And power on again. Let's wait just a, a second to see. It's initializing. It takes a bit to start everything. Right now it's a uh, factory default. It should have yeah bips, quite annoying bips. Let me take this out. And as you can see, we have now the firmware, the low level firmware 3204. And this probably will solve a lot of issues. I will test it after on a new video, if this time everything is okay. So. This is the first part of the video. As you can see, it's pretty easy to, to upgrade. If you have any issues, don't worry. You just need to come here. Uh, system info, as you see, it's this one. Let's connect again the drive. Press update. It's, okay, we have the drive now. Update, update firmware. And you can choose any other version, for example, the the previous version that I had, it's the 3200. Let's select the, this one and start update. And with this system, you shouldn't have any issues upgrading or downgrading your oscilloscope. Okay, it's downgraded. Disconnect the pen before you start. Start again, just let's wait a few seconds for the boot. It will not take long, just a few seconds. Okay, it's starting. And okay, let me just put here the display to the lowest so you can see better the colors and everything else. Okay, and let's see now take this out of the way and system info and we have we have it back to the 3200 uh, firmware you can do the same with the software portion or the high level firmware and without any issues so it's pretty easy if this video was useful to you please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you do, don't forget to hit that bell and activate all notifications to be the first one to be notified whenever I post a new video. That's it for today. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.